What is this? Ooh. That was kind of scary. Who's honking out there? Hello everyone, I'm Zotam Tor. Welcome to Call of Cthulhu. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. Anyway, um, this is... I'm a little nervous about this, okay? Let me tell you why. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, go back. I can't go back. Um, let me tell you really quick. I have my ceiling on. My ceiling on. My ceiling fan on. So if you hear some noise, it's that. Anyway, let me tell you why I'm scared. So a couple weeks ago, I watched this movie called Underwater. Okay. Let me tell you about this movie. First of all, let me tell you this. I've said it many times before and I'll say it again. I am terrified of the ocean. Okay. You will not get me out there unless I'm dead. Um, so I watched this movie, right, called Underwater. It's about these scientists that are in some like underwater, like they're on the, on the floor of the ocean and they're like researching stuff, right? Okay, so they're in this, whatever thing they're built, their little building thingy started collapsing. So then they got to survive, right? And plot twist, there's a monster at the end and let me tell you i was anxious the whole time i hated every second of it but it was a really good movie anyway <laughs> this game is kind of that um to my understanding it's about some guy that's gonna go investigate some monster in the ocean so this is gonna be great i hate playing underwater games hopefully i'm not it in underwater in the water i don't know dude i'm gonna be scared also i'm really high and i feel like it intensifies my emotions so when i'm scared i'm super ultra mega scared so anyways without further ado <laughs> let's jump in chapter one pierce investigations agency boston boston 1924 damn okay edward pierce veteran of the first world war drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills of course cliche he is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor listen are all private detectives uh alcoholics with a traumatizing past because jessica jones is exactly that <laughs> Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. All right, let's do it. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his something sane hideous end. HP Lovecraft. I know they got a show out. Uh, Lovecraft, right? Is based off of that guy or something? I don't know. I haven't watched it. I do want to watch it though. Okay, what do we got here? Is that blood? Oh my god, a shark. Oh my god, I'm not gonna like this game, are, am I? Here we go. Pray for me. The music's already scary, so I don't like that. There's a lot of fish here. Well, circle to crouch. Crouch through here. Oh god, why is it dark? You guys got your snacks? Uh... Oh, I need to, uh, grab this. Wait. Isn't that the door I was trying to get through? Oh, there's an open area here. Uh, 
Oh, we're going on a boat. Oh my god. What was that noise? My controller is vibrating. Okay, there we go. Perhaps we're not going in the water. Excuse you? Bro, why did that give me chills? It was a good voice though. It sounded demonic. Oh, this is the door I was trying to go through, huh? Okay. killed Willy and uh, oh my god what's the guy's name the shark from Finding Nemo what's his name what can I what, I can't remember oh my god they killed her his brother too don't fight you have been chosen why do I need to run why do I need to run why Bro, he's barely running. I'm scared. Uh, Illuminati? Of course, the Illuminati is behind that monster. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Why don't they have faces? That music. I hate whiskey. I'll see you in my dream. Hold you in my dream. <gasps> oh my god! It's gonna affect my destiny! Oh, I shouldn't have drank! Oh my god, that was so dumb. Oh, that was so dumb. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Because now it's going to give me the crappy ending. Like, oh my god, you had a drink. Your loved one's going to die. It looks like he's married, so it's probably his wife. Oh my god. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> it makes you make bad choices. Okay. Pierce Investigation Agency. October 20th, 1924. Damn, I should play this in October. But I just found this recently. Like a couple days ago on the... Uh, PlayStation Extra catalog, I think it was. I don't know. It was on one of those. Uh, the doctor can well. Re <sighs> Dude, I'm having a hard time reading. Y'all got snacks? I got water. I got some chips and I got some peeps. I know it's me, but I have these peeps from Easter <laughs> still. <laughs> and no, it's not nasty. Let me tell you why. Because they're still unopened. Um, Walmart had 75% off, so they were like 30 cents per pack. So I bought a ton of them. Oh my god! No! I pressed the button. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Let me not get my snacks. Let me read. Um, the doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. 
Jeez. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams. They are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Ooh, Lost Battalion. 10 7 18. My old lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. You don't have any information yet. So why? Oh. Oh. My prior detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other, adulteries, settled scores, disappearances that are not exactly disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles but this place is mine for the moment. That's very depressing. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna have to like. Okay, I, I see. Or do I just earn points? I don't know. Wait, sanity, hold up. Mental trauma. Confident in your, in your abilities and your cardison mind. You conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. Let me tell you something. If you guys ever seen Bones, you know how Bones says never jump to assumptions? Yeah. Because you gotta see the evidence first. Okay, nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the first... Uh, did I read this? No, I have not. Okay. Where he took part in... The Muse are gone. Offensive? Is that how you say it? I don't know. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies. The soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Damn. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Dude, have you guys seen those pictures? There's like a guy before he went to war and afterward. Was it war? Yeah, I think it was war. And like in the first one, he's like, he looks hella like vibrant and alive. And then in the, in the afterward, like his eyes are like dark and like he's seen some shit, you know? I'm like, damn. All right. What else we got? That's everything. Okay, let's just walk around then. I don't want to hear you. I don't. It kind of speaks to me when I'm. Rid of all this stuff. When I'm playing stuff like this. I don't know. I feel like TikTok kind of ruined that because you know how to use it for creepy ass stuff. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay. What does that mean? Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. So I have eight. Um, damn, I gotta read through these. I don't know if you guys want to see me read through these. I've noticed that I read through them and a lot of the times I don't even edit it in. I'm trying to open the peeps. All right, let's read while I try to open these. Y'all gonna hear me making noise. <laughs> Um, uh, wait, where am I at? Strength, okay. Professional, 40%. I need six for the next level. 
Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. I cannot open these. Oh my god. Um, improving this skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanisms or using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Woo! I like that. I got it open. I'm eating yellow birdie peeps. They didn't have any bunnies, and bunnies are my favorite. Okay. Medicine. 10%. Oh, that's what I'm at. Novice. Cool. Oh my god, this is drying out my mouth a lot. I already get cotton mouth. Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving the skill increases your chances of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Mm, if I can get hurt, I'm probably going to need that because I'm probably going to get hurt a lot occultism occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences improve this goes to increase your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the myth that is where I would like to uh, 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 in my personal life increase because dude it's scary but it's interesting psychology I'm an amateur 20% Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving the skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. <coughs> Excuse me. I also find that very interesting in my own personal life. Um, spot hidden. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving this skill increases your chances of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered game what? An undiscovered object will not appear in game. What? I might need that because I'm bad at looking around. I think that's what it means. Eloquence. Amateur 20%. How might he cracked? Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Oh, ho, ho. Improving the skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussion. Okay, so that one and psychology might be the best ones right now so that since the beginning I can already have a little more. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. And then this one. Because I think those will give me good advantages from the beginning. I don't think I'll get hurt right away. I don't think I need to... I didn't even read investigation, did I? Whatever. I already wasted them. But investigation represents your investigating talents, improving the skill, increases your chances of understanding past objects by analyzing a crime scene or an object, and of picking locks. That's already 40% anyway, so... Oh, I can remove one. Okay. Nah. How do I get out of here? Validate? Oh, there we go. Do you really want to validate this character's points? This is... Yes. Cool. On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases like worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still- I'm coming. <laughs> Old man. Why didn't he just say to come in? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. 
and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter. I was gonna yes. say, Everyone knows little girl, if she's little, the little. accuse her of sense. killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. I what am how I supposed scary. to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. See, Please. I did psychology. Right. I'll look at your picture. This gonna help That's me. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on dark. Give it to me. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Oh, that's cool. They made a little notebook on the back. Like the cover. Okay, what do we got? File on the Sarah Hawkins case. A shipping label. A shipping label. People used to ship stuff back in the twenties? Uh, some of, some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Dark Water. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Dark Water. They live a reclusive life there with their only son, Simon. So... Okay. Well, I need to go look at the painting. But what do I have on the clues? Oh, it's just the things that I just read. Okay. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Uh... The sender's yeah, I am curious about the warehouse, warehouse one. Thirty-six. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Who's honking? Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this Who's case honking? than just an accident. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. 
Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Cool. Um... The sender's label mentions what Warehouse 36. Oh. That's right. And you think you're... That is what go... Okay. I'm a and private investigator. you're asking the wrong guy. Not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Um, I guess I didn't really have I to see that. I'm okay, I guess that's everything. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let us sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Something's queer? <laughs> Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt a married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. That's never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Aww. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside of the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhibited inhabited <laughs> inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes but don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were a gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves was it a sea or a dream god no one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumul tumultuous, tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I should well get rid of huh? this stuff. Oh, I already looked at that. What is this? Ooh. That was kind of scary. Who's honking out there? A dense work aimed at interns and young pr practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Nothing in there. I used to be an avid reader. Me too, but not anymore. Because I just play video games instead. <laughs> oh, I need to hold it. <clears throat> the Sarah Hawkins case. Whoa. Chapter 2. Oh, well, on that note, let me just end it here because uh, I don't want to go into chapter 2. Or should I just go for it? Nah, fam. I don't want these to be too long. <laughs> I'm gonna end it here. Um, and we'll pick it up in the next one because uh, now I gotta know if I'm gonna be scared or not. Anyways. <laughs>
I'll end it here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.